Lesson 2 The Great Flood Adam and Eve had many descendants, and soon the human family became quite large. Sadly, many of them were disobedient, selfish, and wicked, including one of their sons, Cain, who killed his own brother, Abel. There were some good people, but in time they too were drawn into sin. They no longer served God and soon forgot Him. Still there were a few who believed in God and tried to serve Him. Among these was a holy man called Noah. His sons were Shem, Ham, and Japheth. All three grew up to be good men like their father, they were obedient and did their best to love and serve God. When God saw how sinful the people had become, He warned Noah that He planned to wipe out their wickedness with a great flood. He would send rain for days and days. Because Noah and his family were faithful and pleasing to God, He intended to spare them. He told Noah to make a large ark it would be 450 feet long, 75 feet wide, and 45 feet high. When everything was finished, Noah began to fill the ark. He brought males and females of every kind of animal inside so they could form animal families. Finally, Noah took his family into the ark. Then it rained for 40 days and 40 nights. Soon the rivers and seas overflowed. The water rose higher and higher as the rain continued to pour down from the dark sky, until at last it stood 20 feet above even the highest mountain. Every living thing left on the land was drowned in the flood. But the ark floated safely across the raging waters. So Noah, his family, and the animals in the ark were saved. After several weeks, the rain finally stopped and the skies opened up. In the five months following, the ark continued to float around on the water. One day it came to rest on a mountain. At first, Noah could see nothing from the window except water, but after a time, he saw the tops of some mountains. It was a sign that the water level was going down. He waited 40 days longer and then sent out a raven and a dove. The dove returned because it could not find a place to rest. A week later, he sent forth a second dove. This time, the dove returned carrying an olive branch in its beak. This meant that plants had begun to grow again on the land. After another week, he sent the dove out a third time. This time, it did not return. Noah knew then that the flood was over. Seven more weeks passed, and God spoke to Noah. He told him to come out of the ark along with his family and all the animals. It was time for them all to make new homes. Then they could have new families, so that the world could be filled again with creatures of every kind. Noah left the ark, grateful to God for having saved him and his family from the flood. He built an altar to God and offered on it several animals and birds. God was pleased with the sacrifice of Noah and promised he would never again destroy the earth by the waters of a flood. God set a rainbow in the sky as a sign of the promise he had made to reward the faithfulness of Noah.